yeah, yeah, yeah. every night. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. Lord, we exalt you because there is none besides you. Thank you for thus far you have been so good. Thank you for 70 years of your faithfulness, 40 years of your loving kindness. Accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. Tonight we are gathered, O oh Lord, to celebrate how you have been so merciful unto this family. Blessed be the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. We commit this gathering unto your mighty hands. We ask, O oh Lord, that we take preeminence in the name of Jesus. Everything will flow according to plan in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in all we ask that your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. You have helped them thus far. The rest years shall be spent in peace in the name of Jesus. The rest years shall be spent, O oh Lord, it with your loving kindness in Jesus' name. Every day shall be more blissful than the former in the name of Jesus, and your name shall be glorified. Thank you for their seeds, O Lord. They are blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answer prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. Yeah, sorry we are starting a bit late today. For that, you can blame Rhoda, Gloria, Kenneth, and Joy. <laughs> those four people. Put your hands together for them. We're going to blame those four. Um, we're going to start with a few songs of worship and songs of praise. Uh, this is a Thanksgiving event. It's not just a birthday. It's a Thanksgiving event, and we're going to spend some time thanking God for what he has done in Pastor Sunday's life the 70 years. And what he has done in Pastor Sunday and Pastor Roseland's life in 40 years. And we're going to spend some time just praising God and worshiping him for that that he has done. Please, with Jesus' joy, welcome the RCCG King's Court Choir to lead us in worship. Thank you. 
to the power that walk in us. I want to thank you because you have been there. When there, there was no man, you showed off on every side. Father, in time of tribulation, Father, in time of hardship, you show forth your faithfulness. We have come to worship you. King of glory, let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Father, we thank you. Ebenezer, 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 my stone of hell, only you are my helper. Ebenezer, 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 you are my stone of hell, only you are my Oh, when I call, answer me, when I am down, you lift me up, my stone of hell, only you are my Oh, when I call, you answer me. stone of hell only you I will sound oh my stone of hell only you I will sound oh you are my stone of hell only you I will if you are sound. sure say with me my stone of hell only you I will sound oh Lord you are my stone of hell only you I will sound oh you are my stone of hell, only you I will stand. Oh, you are my stone of hell, only you I will stand. Father, we come before you, we are going to dance before you tonight. We pray, Lord, let your name alone be praised, let your name alone be exalted. But still, we can do nothing, but with you, Lord, we can do all things tonight. We welcome you, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let Jesus be exalted in this place. Thank you, Father, for what you've done. We bless you. You are good, and your mercy is enduring forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. He's done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Let's say now. Still won't be no blessing in love. If I have ten thousand tongues, we'll still won't be no. Let's give the love the thing. What shall I? What shall I render? To Jehovah. What shall I render up to the over? For he has done so very much for me. La, 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 la,
You fill my heart with so much peace and love. You are amazing. You're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. You're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. All your promises are yes. Oh, your promises are yay and amen. You never lie, you never lie. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Let's take this one. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never failed me all my days. All, all my days, I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up till I lay my head. I will sing of your goodness of God. I love you, Lord. Hey. You, Lord. For your mercy never failed me All my days, all my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up I lay my head I will say of the goodness Me. Hey. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Are you sure? Your goodness, your goodness is running after, is running after me. Your goodness and mercy, your goodness is running after, is running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Oh, your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness, your goodness. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me.
shout hallelujah 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 awesome god awesome god The reason why we are here today is to celebrate 70 years of God's faithfulness, 40 years of their life. Father, we are grateful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We give you glory. We have more than a song yes. today. I brought myself. I am. I am your sacrifice. I am more than a song.
have been tremendously blessed by their presence and their serving. We're looking at two people who love God, who love his people, love the work of the Lord. Uh, two people who are praying people, people of humility and integrity. And I, I'm just grateful to be here tonight to, to witness to the fact that uh, if you've been touched by their lives, then you've been truly blessed. My prayer for them is that they will have long years, long life, fruitful years. I'm so blessed to see the, the grandbabies coming and watching them having that experience. Prayerfully, they'll see great grandchildren. Amen. Amen. And God is able to do that. Um, won't take a lot of time, but I know if I can just have a uh, journey center people to stand real quick just to acknowledge us being in the room to celebrate them tonight. Journey Center, wonderful, 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 wonderful. And uh, our, our ministry, again, has been uh, tremendously blessed by their, their presence, and we're looking forward to years to come of fruitful ministry together. God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to ask everybody to stand up. If you could, stand up, please. If you could, everyone. Okay. You're just going to do a little exercise for me. Just loosen it up a little bit, okay? Now, all of you are on numbered tables. Apart from you, you can sit down. If it's 70 years, 40 years, you can sit down. You can sit down. <laughs> you can sit down. Um, all of you are on numbered tables. You're one, two, three to... 13. Okay, from 1 to 12. 13, you're going to be my guys. So you guys just chill. 1 to 12. So 1 paired with 2, 3 paired with 4, uh, 5 paired with 6, and on and on. Okay, I want you to look at the counterpart table. 1 and 2, 3 and 4. Pick somebody out in your mind. Pick somebody out. Look at the counterpart table. Pick somebody out. Just pick them out right now. You can't change it. Once you pick it, God is watching. So pick it, pick them out. <laughs> now I want you to do something for me. I want you to go to that person and tell them where you met this lovely couple. Right? Where did you meet this lovely couple? Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pick that person, that person you picked. Go talk to them. Tell them where you met this lovely couple. Come on, come on. I'm going to give you some time. Come on. Let's loosen it up. Let's go. Go. One with two, three with four, five with six, seven with eight, nine with ten. I'm going to give you five minutes. Where you met this lovely couple. There's going to be a quiz. Going to be a quiz. Uh-huh. Time and date. If you have that, I'll take it. You getting those answers? Come on, some of you still at your tables. Come on now. Find somebody, ask them. Where did you meet this lovely? Okay, one per family. I give one representative per family. Where did you meet this lovely couple? Table 13, do it among yourselves. Do it among yourselves. Come on, table 13, just do it among yourselves. Come on. It's not me that made the numbers. <laughs> mm, I see people sitting down. Okay? Getting some answers. Getting some answers. Getting some answers. Okay. Okay. Okay, people are still gathering some information. Some information. Okay. Okay, settling down a little bit. Okay. I hope you introduce yourself to the person. Okay. Now I'm going to ask my first contestant. Oh, this lovely young lady over here. <laughs> this lovely young lady. Everybody just settle down. Let's ask her what she found out. So you, where did you meet the lovely couple? 
Where did you? So I met them through Rhoda. I think it was through Rhoda I got to meet the entire family. So you met them through Rhoda. Okay. And the person you met just a few minutes ago, where did they meet the lovely couple? I met, um, I talked with Vivian. And oh, wait, wait, wait. What table is Vivian? Table 12. The table 12. Okay. You didn't cheat. Okay. Okay. Where did Vivian meet the lovely couple? She worked with Auntie here. Um, and through her, she met Uncle. And she's just been almost a part of the family. Oh, great round of applause for this lovely young lady here. She did, she did the assignment correctly. She did the assignment correctly. Okay. I'm going to move over to this table. Because you just look dignified and dis distinguished, sir. So if you could tell us where you met Pastor Sunday and Pastor Rosalind. Um, I met them at the Journey Center. Okay. I started going there. Okay. How many years ago was that? Six or seven. Six or seven years. And you met someone a few, few minutes ago. Did you introduce yourself? Did they introduce themselves? Endurance and her mom. I didn't get her mom's name. But they, they met... Well, her mom knew Pastor Rose over in Nigeria. They grew up as friends. And endurance, well, by knowing her mom. Hey, Rob, for him. That's a great story. So you have known Pastor Rose for how many years, ma'am? Over 42 years. Oh, so you knew her before she met him? You knew her before she met him? Did you have any say into whether she should marry him or not? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't have any say so. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go to this table. This table is very active. I loved you. You were like going everywhere. Sir, what's your name, sir? James. Me. Me. Where did you meet the, the cop? Yep. Them yet. Would you like to? Okay. So you're the youngest friend. Round of applause for James. He's the youngest friend. Okay? So James, talk to a few. Got his name? Okay. How did Ignatius, Signatius, okay. Signatius, how did Signatius meet the couple? Ignatius met them 30 years ago in Nigeria. Ignatius, is that correct? About. Not quite. Time and date? 1987. Wow. That's before I was born. Psych. Okay. <laughs> Great. I did that just to get us to meet each other, one, and to know that there's a lot of history in this room. I met the couple through the four people that were responsible for us being late to start today. I'll say their names again. Rhoda, Gloria, Ken, and Joy. That's how I met you, sir. I'm a, so <laughs> that's how I met them. So right now, we're going to invite someone to give us a very special number that he's dedicating to the couple. And um, I would just like you to welcome him as I bring him up here. His name is Mr. Julius Enokio. Praise God, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. I want to give all the glory to God. I want to thank our daddy and our mommy. Congratulations. Thank you for all you've done, continue to do for my family, myself, my wife. Very instrumental to the grace of God upon our life today. Daddy, please look. Hey, what? Hey, look at you, look at you. You will be there to advise me and my wife. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our mommy. <laughs> Praise God. And to God with the glory. Come next month, 20 years anniversary with my wife. My wife is there. Praise God. 
Amen. So God has really used them. So without wasting time, uh, today I have two numbers to give to us. My first song is titled Peace. Without doubt, we can know that there is peace in this union. Through Jesus Christ of our Lord. He said, the peace I give unto you. You see, when you have Jesus' peace, it becomes better and better. Amen? Amen? Perhaps you are here today, you are troubled. I speak peace to you in the name of Jesus. Maybe troubling marriage, troubling situation. Jesus will give you peace. You can't find peace nowhere. Not in this world. But in Jesus Christ. Try Jesus. You will get peace. First, some from the gospel. Thank you. Love the one that he gave it song to save the world. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. Believe today. My peace I give unto you, give to one another. And full of spread, come to Jesus now. Jesus is the day, today, forever. He will give you rest. My peace, I give unto you. As we love ourselves, living the morning. Reach out to someone, for this is love. This is the will of God. My peace, I give unto you. America, let me pray. Asia to Australia, let me flow. Authentic to everywhere, let me flow. My peace, I give unto you. My peace, I give unto you, give to one another. Give peace a chance, give peace a chance. Come on, give peace a chance, give peace a chance, give peace a chance, give peace a chance. 
Of the world that he gave his song, so as I believe, shall never die. Because I love the world that he gave his song, so as I believe, shall never die. Shall never die. Shall never die. Shall never die. Because I love the world that he gave his song, so as I believe. So love the one that he gave his song. So as I believe, shall never die. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. He will change the mind. He will your heart. He will change your mind. Just believe. Just believe. Peace. Of God in you, in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, uh, where I'm from, Canada. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, the next track is titled "I Rejoice." We've come to celebrate today. Daddy will know of sure joy is in this marriage. I pray that you continue to rejoice in Jesus' name. Amen. And to everyone of us here. Make the job to be with you in Jesus' name. You see, we have an enemy, which is the devil. You know what he's looking out for? To take away your joy. Never give shine to the devil. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Tell somebody, I rejoice. Tell somebody, I will always rejoice. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. I rejoice. Thank you.
with the trumpet and the hand and all his truth. Clap your hands, clap your hands to the Lord. Hosanna in the air. There we praise your name and shine in victory. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all the sweet in me. Bless His name, name. The Lord is good. There we praise the name, a son of the The Lord of Oh, there we praise the name, a son of the The Lord of God. Bless the be your name. Give me glory. Let the most love the Lord. Everybody to find joy in Jesus' name. Joy will never leave you, son. Daddy, mommy, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A round of applause for Mr. Julius. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. How many of you know that? Thank God for the iPhone. Okay. <laughs> right now we're going to transition. Um, Pastor and Mrs. Arevalo would like to spend some time um, telling you a little bit about what God has done in their lives and what He will do for you. So this has... Um, a testimonial flavor to it. They are going to talk just for a few minutes and try to pass on some of the lessons that they've learned in their many years on this earth and their many years married. Welcome with me, with joy, Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Sunday and Rosalind Arabolo. Please join us.
knowledge of his ways. That has been my sins. He is God. Never sleep or slumber. He is standing by every one of us every day. No matter what we pass through, he is always there. The same God who did it for us, I know he will do it for us. Let's continue to put our trust in him. Let us learn to trust him. Um, I want to thank God for this young man sitting beside me. This <laughs> Will be sweeter and 
better than ours in Jesus' name. Thank you, everyone, for blessing. Let me start by saying thank you to every one of you. Everyone that has chosen to make the sacrifice to make this program today. Some of you traveled from very far and near. Thank you. Now, if I'm asked what I'm thankful for, I wonder where I should start. But let me start by saying number one, whatever started this journey that we are celebrating today, was Jesus himself. Yeah. On the 12th of July, 1976, Jesus turned me around from a life of self-destruction to a life that he had cleansed and showed mercy upon. So first of all, I'm grateful that he did that. If not that, honestly, without exaggeration, we won't be here today. I would have died Long, long, long before now. So it was because he did that, I came across this girl. <laughs> I had been, I joined some other youths when the Christian Association were praying, you know, pray about marriage. And I had friends that I was told them to let me pray. We will sometimes share notes as to how far. <laughs> so one day, I was in this family that I visited, and somebody removed the curtain and entered the house. I looked up. <laughs> Something just registered in my spirit. <laughs> And because of my background, I, I looked at her, the way she dressed, I was saying, I'm not sure this one is sanctified enough. <laughs> so, so I started rebuking the spirit of lust inside me. I never knew her, I don't know whether she's a Christian. So, cut long story short, there's a story behind how I even put her on a motorbike. To go and hand her over to another man. That's, that's the story for another day. So, but like she said, the day we now realize, and I made a proposal to her, and she told me no. Thank God I had been read some books on marriage, so I wasn't broken. I just got back home and said, God, since she says no, make sure the one you will give me will be better than this one <laughs> by all standards. That was my prayer. Seven days after, she had changed her mind <laughs> through the spiritual fathers in her life and she came looking, they came looking for me. So that started the journey of we coming together and getting married. And these children God has blessed us with. Give me the picture. Mm -hmm. 
God has him, he has shown me he's a healer. All these years, I have seen God heal. I have been, I have seen, not, not just the ones I read, I have seen miracles of healing without mercy and with mercy. He has done it in my family in ways that humble anybody. I have seen God provide. When the Bible says is Jehovah Jireh, yeah. I have seen him provide. How many stories can I tell? Hmm. I went to church, one church, my family church in Nigeria. Small, big church. I was there, came from Murumi to Benin, and they were raising offering. How do you say that was? The three guys in my pocket for transport, I had a conviction to give it. I have no way of getting back to Rome. I said, God, if it is you, this is my transport. To. I put it in the offering plate. It was about a thousand. Nobody knew why I was there. I got home to Rome and had one naira in my pocket. That is the stop the ticket. I can't go to that. But God took me home and I had extra money in my pocket. Once he started in a church here in Plainfield, elderly sister, she's singing to me. She's not the type that plays lottery and lotto. She's joined her friends to go to Las Vegas on vacation. So the, uh, the friends were having fun, they went out and, and she just said, I just, I just put this amount. If I win, I'll send it to Pastor Sunday. She won $400. <laughs> I was in church when she came and brought her in there and said, this is for you. That was the money I needed to make up my mortgage that month. I have been in my house for 14 years. Insurance and interest have been going up and down. All the, all the, no, no decrease, no redu reduction for 14 years. One year, one, one month I was strong. I said, should I pay my tithe or pay? If I pay, if I pay my mortgage, I will be okay, but I won't pay my tithe. But I told myself, if I don't pay my tithe, if I don't pay my mortgage, I will get it at least half. 15 more days before the end of the month, and the ones they can give me interest. So, I paid my tithe. Two days after, I got a check in the mail for all the exact amount I needed to make up my mortgage. Two days before, it was too late. It was from Exco. For 14 years, I never got one dollar from them. You talk about God's provision. I can't go to the details. Many of you, some of your stories I know. Some of you here know some of the things that God has done that I'm a witness of. All of this to show God's ability to provide me living bigger than me. Anybody would imagine your pay is only by God's provision. I'm saying this to say that I have seen God prove to me his Jehovah Jireh. God has blessed us with children, not only biological ones. We have been humbled when people come and say, they call me daddy, daddy. And I have learned from others 
who are ahead of me, who have become this large family, this rich family, bigger than the biological one. I have been blessed by fathers and mothers in the law that have been there to counsel when the times were rough in our marriage. One of the days, one of the years, we were expecting Kenneth. My wife was heavy. We had a disagreement. It was as if she was asking me, beat me up. <laughs> and God's game, we never fought. We were only fighting words. But this day, we, it was... It, I got angry. I stomped out of the house. I said, I'm going to report you to mommy. <laughs> We had a mother in the law. Mommy and Ibo. We got a wife there and said, Look at look at What? She got up and I went to the house. I didn't go back to the house. I just went away from there. She got there. They talked. That was the end of the story. So we had fathers and mothers who spoke into our lives. Our wedding anniversary was on the 12th. So the 21st of July, this, this year, 40. One of our fathers in the law, when he was, he was there at our wedding. He was more advised so to go ahead with the wedding. We didn't have money. The money I was expecting didn't come. So I was thinking of the school and he said, no, start. When you start, money will come. And we started, but the grace of God, we didn't borrow it down. The money I was expecting came seven months after the marriage. It came when we needed it the most. My wife had a miscarriage and was pleading. That's when that money came. So this father told us this year in July, I said, told my wife, take him out for dinner. In my own mind, I was, we were celebrating for me, I'm going to take my wife out. My father in law said, Take, told my wife, take him out. You pay for the dinner. She said, okay, sir. So I'm saying that after 40 years of marriage, 70 years old, I still have fathers who speak into my life. This story is going to continue tonight as much as we can tell. But if you are hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> I have told my children, this ceremony is not like any other one that we can copy. We just want to be ourselves. They told me, when we started eating the bread with Ravi, I said, I didn't invite little kids to this place. It's adults. We can be talking while we are eating. So my prayer, my desire, my goal, is that for be for the sacrifice you make to the here. Some of you, as a brother who traveled, <laughs> he's playing he had some issues for which he, he took the whole day to get here between yesterday and today from Arizona. That while we eat tonight, we will just share. Thank God for the MC who chose to ask us how we got to know ourselves. But I'm trusting that as we fellowship this time, as we spend it together, we will tell stories. There are lots of stories to be told. Thank you for coming. And my prayer is that you will be blessed in a way that God, you, you yourself will, we will be grateful to God that this time was not wasted. That whatever sacrifice you put in to make this trip, that it will be rewarded. Thank you very much. A short break. Round of applause for this for couple. Once more. Once more. Okay. Daddy was lying to you. The children were the ones that hired me and they said we are fasting for this uh, event. So, no. <laughs> so, we are canceling that. Just before we go there, I noticed a few things. I want to do some translation for those of you that don't understand. Mommy used the word. 
She said when daddy asked her to marry her, she was doing shakara. Shakara. Now, I know not everybody knows what that means. So I want to volunteer to explain in a very understandable way what shakara means. Come on now. One person, one person. I will call somebody. <laughs> what, what does shakara mean? Mm. Okay, let me come to the table of the children. Gloria, please explain for our esteemed audience what shakara means. So she was front. Oh, she was front. Okay, that's what she was doing. Okay, I get it. I get it. So how long did it take, Daddy, for no to become yes? Seven. That's not front. That's not real front. That's just shaka. Okay. <laughs> I also noticed one thing, Pastor Rosen. When you called him your lover boy, you see, I noticed your children. They just turned away. They just. Gloria turned her chair. Rhoda did as if she didn't hear. Kenneth was hiding in the corner. Joy was bending her head. So people, you know what we do when we want a couple to show some affection to themselves? Okay, please, children, please look at your parents as we make some noise. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, now, you know, uh, I don't have to teach you. After 40 years, sir. No, 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 no. You know what to do. You know what to do. Uh, t- for seven seconds, seven seconds. For those seven days, seven seconds. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Gloria, six, seven. <laughs> what is with these children? Ah, look at your parents. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now, after that short first half of the testimony, I would like to call on. Before we eat, I would like to call on Pastor Ogo to pray for the couple and their family. Please welcome with me, Pastor Ogo, to join us up here. Round of applause. Well, sir. Pray for the Uh, this, this is a special time, time. and uh, in, in my usual way, way. this is a uh, 40 years marriage anniversary. If, if you are above 70, please, please come up here. If you are above 70. This is what I'm saying. Am I the oldest person here? <laughs> God bless you, my brother. We are with the Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I remember two years ago when the National Minister's Conference and a man of God came up and said, He's just a hundred years old. And he's going to London to preach. Not immediately. I entered the command of God and said, God, when I will be hundred years, this my feet will stay carry me. I said right there, I will not be a liability to my children. I said, I will still be preaching the gospel. I entered the covenant of God on that day. And God has kept me and my wife. And by June this year, we'll be celebrating 51 years of marriage and birth. Hallelujah. This is my brother. We, we labor together, together back home in Nigeria. Nigeria. Well, and my, my beloved brother is here too. <laughs> Praise God. Well, well I've seen, seen some pastors. Pastor, if you're a pastor, pastor, come up here so that we pray for the family. Come on. Come 
Oh, the pastors, please. Um, your children will come. come. We are going, going to form a cycle, cycle around the family. family. I'm reading a portion of the scriptures, Psalm 128. Say, Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his way, for thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of thy house, thy children like only plants round about the table. table. Behold, that thus shall the man be, be blessed that fear the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of thy and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children and peace upon Israel. Well, we're here as agents of blessing from the Lord. The scripture already has pronounced you blessed. Say, blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord. I'm sure the celebration of today is the fulfillment of this scripture. Because this family, especially our uh, brother, son, they are the wife. They have been remained faithful unto God. And God has rewarded them today. And that's why we're all here. I want to lift a hand over them and pray for them. Please do that. Pray for them. In Jesus' name we pray. According to the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 26, say, Thou shalt come to thy grave in the full age, like as a shock of corn. No body, no demon, no witches and wizards, no agent of darkness, that will pluck, pluck you out, out before, before your time. time. He said the number of your days will fulfill. With long life will he satisfy you and show you salvation. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your children as an olive. Which is a sign of peace and joy. Will continue to multiply joy in your family. You have no room to regret. When you see them, you bless the name of the Lord. Everyone that beholds you and your children will bless the Lord. In the name of Jesus, God is adding years to your years. Because 70 years is gone. From today, you are marching forward. You are marching upward. You have root to the ground. Nothing that will shake you. In the name of Jesus, the God that laid this foundation for you will make you to stabilize. Until you meet him in heaven, you have no regrets. Father, we form this cycle over this family as an umbrella of divine protection. As the angel of each and every one of us around them, they will never see sorrow. They will never experience sorrow. Sickness shall be far from them. Whatsoever they do it, it shall prosper. You'll be celebrated 
and God will be glorified in your life, in the life of your wife, in the life of your children, grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, you be, be a beacon of light to those that are in darkness. So shall it be. This is the beginning of great things that the Lord has started. He will finish it in your life. You celebrate more years, more years, more years. Father, we pray for the young couples that are here. Today, they are looking up to us as your children. With the enabling grace you have granted to us, you have given us, may you reach out to them. They will live to celebrate their marriage. And their marriage will be fruitful. There will be no regrets. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. And amen. Is served. Okay, okay, clap. <laughs> and we'll be going from table to table, starting at table one. Um, and it's going to be a buffet style. We're going to give everybody time to get their food and, and start eating before we go on. So thank you so much for you've been great, you've been awesome. And uh, we're going to make this quick. And so, table one, you're welcome to go to the buffet line and serve yourself.
the thing God has laid in my heart to speak to me. I just want to give my wife the opportunity to say something. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I know we're eating, but God is good. I want to thank God for mommy and daddy. I've known mommy since 2001. And then, amen. The very night I met them, it didn't look like it was the first time. It looked like I've known them for years. That's how much they open their hands to everyone that they meet. I want to thank God that it's not just me. They're not just dad and mom to me, even to my children. They are granddad and mom. Amen. My kids can call that anytime, bother them, whatever. For me, I can call them anytime. There are many times the words that they give you is strength. When you are looking for somebody you can talk to, a mother you can talk to, give mommy a call. You are looking for a father you, you can talk to, give daddy a call. They never feel like you bother them. They are such a blessing to have. I just thank God for the celebration. Thank God for 70 years, God has been so faithful. And we thank God for 40 years of marriage. When I was sitting there, I said, Lord, if you tarry, this grace will come upon my house. It is not an easy journey, but God is good. The God that has kept them, that same God, will keep every one of us. Thank you, mommy and daddy, and happy celebrations. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have known mommy over 45 years. And mommy was close to my mom. She comes to our house during holidays when she's school with my sisters. And I have no words to describe the impact that Mommy and Daddy have been in my life. Daddy have been under his teaching. And I still remember his teachings. When I preach, I tell people, write notes to the gates. I still have his notes. From the time for 35 years. And I still listen to his teachings. I go through the notes and the impact he has made. We are here tonight just talking about 40 years in less than 10 minutes and 70 years of life in less than 5 minutes. You are watching and you are seeing a fulfillment of the hand of God. One word that clarifies what we are celebrating tonight is that Daddy, the Lord said He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You have inspired many. Your teaching has imprinted things in our hearts. And I heard on those teachings and have guided me through a young Christian and being a pastor today. Your words are so deep. There are mysteries and there are things you spoke into generations to come. I'm standing here to let you know your spiritual investment is not a waste. I celebrate you. I look up to you. You are more than an example. Your light shines far beyond. Generations are still waiting to see the manifestations of the impartation you have done. I am so glad to be part of you. We celebrate you. And for everyone present here today, we are celebrating Christ's goodness. In case you don't have Jesus in your life, in case you don't have a relationship with him, I just want you to know, see what the Lord has done. That you can go through life's storm 
and your whole body filled with scars, then you come out a champion. Your birth place will not define who you are, but who God has made you to be. Daddy will celebrate you. Enjoy today, mommy. Thank you for your support, for your encouragement. And we rejoice with you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Round of applause the pastor and pastor misses. Did you hear that hallelujah? Pastor and pastor misses the Kodobe. Round of applause for them one more time. One more time. Okay. Uh, next, we will have another pastor to come and uh, share a few words. This is Pastor Clement Izewili. Pastor Clement is just going to look here. Pastor Clement. Ah. Pastor Clement, you missed your table. <laughs> So you look at the wrong direction. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Please, we are not here for lectures. We are here to celebrate. And we have so many Jesus because when my pastor, my bishop came out to say, if you are more than 70, please come and join me. All of you start. And I said, okay, you are all Jesus. But what I'm, the feeling I'm getting from you is the feeling of Jesus. Praise the Lord, somebody! What? Praise the Lord, somebody! Praise the Lord, somebody! Praise the Lord, somebody! represent grace. We had to shout, shout five hallelujah because of the workings of grace in the life of these two unique individuals. Um, starting with my brother. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We know where God took us from. You know, when you see a grandfather shouting hallelujah, being excited, you know that there's something. You know, many of you here were born with golden spoons, silver spoons in your mouth. But some of us were born perhaps with wooden spoon or no spoon at all in our mouths. I remember, you no, know, when we used to pursue rabbits in the bush. How many of you have had that experience? You know, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You no, know, we would load a little pot, little clay pot, with some dry grass. Then. At the bottom of the pot, we put a little hole and then put some embers, you know, fire. Take it to the bush, locate the rabbit hole, and put the small pot in the hole. And from the bottom, we begin to pump the hole. Pumping it and fire, the smoke will be going inside the hole. And some, some rabbits were wiser than us because some will dig their hole like this, but they will dig it to a toad at a, in the opposite direction to the edge the surface. They will not bring it out, so you will not know there is a hole there. So, when we are pumping this way, before you know it, this rabbit has. I will say, ah, the man has escaped. We start pursuing in the bush. That was my experience. How many of you grew up in a village when in the morning everybody would be chasing weak termites? Weak termites. No, I'm just telling you where we come from. How many of you are digging the cricket hole? <laughs> That's where we are coming from. But thank God for grace. Um, I want to say this 
approved producers of the efficacy of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. That God is able to do exceeding, abundantly above all that we are able to think or ask or imagine according to his power that works in us. It is that power that brings this couple to this day. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Um, we go to know the Lord early by the grace of God. And then we are those they call the Koi Koi Christians. You heard my brother when he was giving his testimony. He said, when he proposed to his wife, and she said no, he went home and told God, well, God, if you said this is not the one, then you are going to give me a better one. We are that time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And talking about character. My brother, my brother is, he has been such a Christian you can watch for. He's a Christian Christian. A brother beloved. Somebody that will tell you, I will call you back. I will call you back. No many of our Jesus. Well, nobody calls to you, sir. I'll call you back. But you have no mind of calling back. <laughs> we will not that type of Christians. We don't believe that if you tell a lie, you are on your way to hell. <laughs> we were so heavily conscious that every bit of our lives. No, what rules by that consciousness? Praise the Lord, somebody. Like I said, my brother was such a person you can so trust, and it reminds me of a quotation from Julius Caesar that loneliness is the young, ambitious ladder whereon to the thunder upward turns his face. But once he attained the utmost round, he then unto the ladder turns his back, scorning at the bad degree by which he did ascend. But my father is not like that. He climbed a ladder, got to the top of the ladder. He did not score the base from where he attended. He still has his old friend right down to the home. Last Christmas, he just wired a hundred thousand naira to all, you know, to most of us. This place, I will not tell him one brother. I said, Ah, brother, Sunday sent me a hundred thousand. He said, Ah, he sent me two. <laughs> no, that's a man. Got he got into the top of the ladder. He is not scorning the best degree by which he did attain. I said. And I would rather say, he held the ladder. I would say, please come up. We can get, I got it here, you can also get here. That's the man sitting here. And talking about the wife, I remember the first time I saw the brought my sister. He looked at her. Where did you get this? She was such a beauty queen. In fact, we were saying, no, no, no. How did you do it? <laughs> you see, it's the work of grace. It's the work of grace. And so, they have honored God with their lives. And because you have chosen to honor God with your life, you, your wife, and all your children, God will honor you. Yeah. And because God has honored you, men will honor you. Yeah. Women will honor you. Yeah. Boys will honor you. Girls will honor you. Children will honor you. Institutions will honor you. Organizations will honor you. Nations will honor you. Life will honor you. Destiny helpers will honor you. You will live to see your children's children. You will join your children to raise their children in the fear and nurture of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now Sunday, as you celebrate, you are a second generation today. 
you attend unto unto Janaria. So no name Janaria to Centenaria. Why your wife follows you alone in the name of Jesus? So be it. God bless you. God bless everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor Ezeweli. That did not go where I was expecting it to go. <laughs> I learned about rabbit catching, cricket catching. Gen Z's. Gen Z's in the house. We can't let that, we can't let that slide. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. One more time. One more time. One more time. Come on. Come on. How many? Okay, not many Gen Z's. Just me and you. Sorry. Okay. Now our video is ready. Now, sorry, before, before we proceed, I just want to say that um, the person that just spoke, Pastor Clement is the person, the, man, the person who, who, who mentored me, who was following me when I became a Christian. It was Pastor Ezewole that led that one to the Lord. So he's like a grandfather <laughs> to me in the faith. That's the return pastor who went to do missionary work in Thailand. To God be the glory. Thank you, sir. And now we will have the video tributes from your other friends. Uh, my name is Reverend Dr. Matthew Okwebo. His life as a Christian, his life in a teenager, life as a Christian, his life in, as a married man, life as uh, a worker in the ministry with the He has been there for this day. His life as a father, as a grandfather. I'm proud of you, my son, but I'm not famous. The grace that are carried, carried over the years is still there. So I pray that the new life will go to heaven after several things will be good with your life. I pray that you that get there for these 14 years in this marriage life, even in the Western world, which uh, is something you cannot tell, uh, it's grace that I've done that all back there. Thank God for your life, you have done so, so, so well. I'm proud of you anyway. Happy birthday, my son. Happy oh, marriage. You, your, your testimony has proved who you are all, all, all these years. Every man, all that those who are not contact, those who are contact, you know that you are still where you are. You are still who you are for this year. And I'm proud of you, my son. I'm proud of you, my daughter, too. Uh, uh, um, Roselaine and Sunday, you have been there for us. You have been there for your children, you have been there for your ministry. You know, God has not forgotten you and keep you to another level of life after this season of this anniversary. Thank God for your life. Me, my wife, my family, my children, my grandchildren, we wish you happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, my dear brother and friend, from the rebel. Join other world pushers. Who here in Nigeria and all parts of the world to celebrate you today as he joined the seventh ladder as his family call. Celebrate the year of God's grace, favor, and mercy and faithfulness. I celebrate you, my brother. I've known you over 50 years now. We started together in the way as teachers. And then, 19, that is around 1977, 1978. We were there, 78, 79. I got a visual first in the rest of the name. Then you came to join me in the second batch, and we were there together in 1980. In the same room, sharing the same bed, struggling it out together. I want to thank God for your life. Your Christian life has stood out. I always look at you as Moses, the man that is very meek and humble. I can hardly see whether they say they, you have ever shown any annoyance or anger. It's very rare. You could be annoyed before you know it, that's your smile comes out. I love you. Being together through the tea time, I celebrate you today. You remain fervent. From my own there to the rest of the room, 
even when I was to go to the University of Ibada, and um, I told you, they nominated two of us as to the presidents of the uh, Christian Fellowship University of Benin. I said, there's no argument that because I'm going, you should be there, and there cannot be any strife between me and you. That's why I became leader of the Christian Fellowship University of Benin in 1982, when I left for Ibada. Since then, we have been together. I'm glad that uh, you marked this today. I joined your wife, Rosalind, who's been there. When even you wanted to speak to her then, we sat together, we analyzed her, A to Z, and we prayed together and said, Go for her. I joined you, my sister Rosalind, today. I joined the children and all the other children to celebrate you all at your this day. The prayer is that uh, we were stronger, we are stronger in this place. Your eyes will not dream, your feet will not go. The strength of a unicorn will continue to enlarge you and the compass that you. His grace and favor will fulfill the remaining part of your days gracefully. In peace. No running up and down. No medical emergency in the name of Jesus Christ. And when it is time, you will bow out gracefully to the glory of God the Father. So I celebrate you today. I say congratulations. Uh, I will soon join you in the seventh ladder by the grace of God. Well done, my brother. Before I go, my pedagogue, that's what we normally call ourselves. The children have asked, and then, uh, what is the pedagogue? We were together when an English uh, education teacher used to come and lecture us. We were taking our professor of the teachers. He said, no, they are not called teachers, they are called pedagogue. Pedagogue means teacher. So the, the meaning, the synonym for it is pedagogue, teacher. So since then, two of us started this as a pedagogue, pedagogue. We were not referred as a teacher. We want to give ourselves a new name so as we can make a class. That tomorrow when we become classroom teachers, we will not just be referred to as teacher, but pedagogue. That's a nice and good. So have a pleasant day and enjoy your so, Keep my cake when I come. Bye. Hello, I want to say something about my very good friend, Pastor Sonny Erevolo. Actually, myself, Barrister Jerry, Ono Mwemili, and Pastor Sonny Erevolo, we were born the same year, in the same environment. In fact, there was uh, virtually no demarcation between our house and his house. It's not these days where you have barricades separating compounds. We have that privilege of playing together right from our childhood. We were born in 1954 together. We were all there playing together. I remember we played football together. He was a very good footballer. And while we are playing footballer, football along with his elder brother, late now Felix, the moment their father is riding towards the home, Sonny Erevolo and Felix Erevolo are out of the match looking for them. That was discipline then. And uh, he's uh, somebody who is actually very intelligent, interested in academics. I know he attended uh, a Sand Drama School. He left there in good grades and uh, he taught. He briefly proceeded to uh, Nana College where he teachers training then. And uh, he came back as a young teacher. He bought uh, a rally bicycle which was the envy of very many of us around there. Uh, Sonny Erevolo, though he was born into a polygamous home, he was he's a unifier. He brought the family together. And uh, the parents were really not Christians as such, but they embraced Christianity. They were attending this Aladura church, or white garment as you may call it. Sonny followed the parents to that church. And because of my closeness to Sonny, I followed him to the church. I remember we went there to the church, fasted for three days. We were inside the church. I can tell you the closeness between me and Pastor Sonny Erevolo. And uh, when he left there, he attended the great University of Benin, where he graduated. And when he came back, he was uh, working with uh, uh, Bishop Okpewolo. And uh, he was riding uh, a coupe Voswaji and a very, very hard-working gentleman. Sonny is a truthful person, no matter what it takes. He does not believe in cheating anybody. He does not believe in victimization. He does not believe in uh, ostracizing people, segregating of human beings. That was not his character. And uh, though all I have seen was not all bed of roses, he went through a lot of financial stress while he was uh, uh, doing his best to acquire this uh, education I have mentioned. But those, uh, the financial stress never deterred him. He forged on, he fought on. 
and anything he believes in doing, he believes doing it properly well. And when he left that Alarua church, or the White Garment church, he embraced Christianity and got converted, if I'm allowed. Then he became a very strong Christian and a member of the Church of God Mission, where he is until he left the shores of uh, this country. And all this while, we are together. We have never really lost contact as such. We have always been together. Has only lost anything good. This you can see. He married a beautiful wife of his choice, and God bless that marriage. They are living happily. So he is a lover of his family. He's a lover of everybody. While Sonny was teaching, receiving a baptism of money called salary then, he was teaching his uh, younger siblings. You can understand what I am talking about. Whereas some of us who had uh, not got such a responsibility to carry, we were interested in buying uh, dresses, buy shirt, buy trousers, buy shoes. But Sonny was heavily bodied with the training of his uh, siblings. Today, I can confidently tell you that uh, he unified the family. He struggled enough to make sure that that family is united and the family is one. Today, uh, Sony has grown to the age of 70, which is worthy of celebration. I'm never, in fact, I want to relate to that. Even when you never expected anything from him, he allowed us to use him. So I appreciate that. Even his wife, they love themselves. I love them. I've made them. And I've made them. I'm ready for me. No, they don't know. Mm -hmm. I come over there. I'm there. The man is sick. Then he played double play. Because mm -hmm. we all worked together. It's very rare. 1981, 82. Mm -hmm. You were there too? As a part time. We made that film as well. Yes. Go there. Okay. So I was in charge of the block industry. Briefly. Mm -hmm. And I left. Though the director wanted me to remain there. But I went to, as a teacher, what I learned from to put in mm -hmm. <laughs> So I love him. They are my. Love family. Love yeah. I think I know them more than any other person. More than any other person. Yeah. It's long. Mm. We talk of old time. Mm. Even when he went to the teacher's college, mm. at Manor College, those mm. days mm. we were together. I remember when he finished, he did his pilot there. Mm. I also went for my Maya Tesseruku. Mm. Even I remember he, the nickel he used in that school. I also put no with him with his pea dress. Oh. That was how I used my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that you don't have to. Like it's not just a year. But don't join it there after. <laughs> so that you're the thing. Uh, can you remember during the course of knowing him any challenge that have come and how you people or he has been able, are you able to I handled it? Challenges like a... any any time, any time you can remember uh, there was a time things like did this, I would manage it. I know in those days, things were not easy with me. But luckily, just God opened his way. Mm. Right now, mm. and when he went to the teacher, when he went to the building bank. This is Dr. Mrs. Justina Abidye, Pastor God, this is the senior sister. Wishing you, Reverend uh, Sunday, a very happy 70th birthday, and congratulations on your 40th wedding anniversary. May God bless you with his strength and wisdom as you age gracefully in his family. And may your marriage be favored by God only in all applications of your life. My regards to the entire family. Wow. Good day, everyone. Happy birthday. I'm giving birthday shares to my uncle. My lovely daddy is a nice man. He's now four, it's now 70 years. What a great joy in our family. A uncle that is better than a father. A man of peace, a man of understanding. <clears throat> I wish you long life and prosperity. And also, my mommy, I wish you 40 years marriage anniversary. I'm so happy. I wish I'm there. I should have turned the whole city around. Happy birthday once more, Daddy. I love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. This is wishing you happy birthday from the Kodua family. We want to say we love you. Thank you so much for all your help. Mommy, want to say something? Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. We are glad that you turned 70 today. We want to say we appreciate all you've done over the years. Thank you for the support you've given to the Okodua family. And we know that God's word concerning you will give you long life 
is sure and is certain. Wish you a happy birthday. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. Happy birthday, Daddy. I wish you long life and prosperity. Your love and your dedication as a spiritual father in my home is the greatest gift I've ever received. I thank you, Dad, and I join everyone to say thank you and happy birthday. Bye. Yeah. Remember, it's Sunday, and then my dear sister, Reverend Mrs. Sandy Revolo, what is the opportunity to praise God for your life? You have been such a wonderful blessing to me, my family. You have been a great example, your compassion, your focus, your dedication to Christ, your meekness. Your sacrificial living has been a great example to me and to many of us back home way back when we were younger Christians today. It is my joy and with every person here in church where I pass on to wish you a wonderful celebration of your 17th birthday and 14th wedding anniversary. Happy, happy birthday. Now we're going to have the cutting of the cake. This cake doubles both the birthday cake and the anniversary cake. So mommy and daddy, can you please join me up here? Round of applause as they make their way, please, please. And I would like to invite Mrs. Comfort Inogiro to join us and officiate the cutting of the cake. Praise the Lord. What the Lord has done for us, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for us, I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me with his blood. So I can shout hallelujah. I can shout Hallelujah, I can shout, praise the Lord, so I can shout, hallelujah, I can shout, hallelujah, I can shout, praise the Lord. I will tell my own story. I'm sorry, Daddy, to keep you standing. I don't know where to start from. Actually, she's my auntie, my mom's younger sister. When she got married, I was the one they used to escort her to say, go and stay with your auntie. I was very young. I was around nine years old at that time. And when I came from uh, Bini to Uromi, I had to stay with them. And uh, I have never seen a love from a father. At that time, as young as I was, this was the man. I call him my father. I have my own bio biological father, but there are ways God brings fathers your ways. He taught me how to read ABC. As at that age, when I came, being from where I came from, the background and everything, I could not read ABC in English language. I would only read it in Bini. He would sit down and teach me ABC. When he comes in the evening, he will bring the, the books. He puts me in the school. The books they used to teach, he would lie on the bed. When you say a teacher, he's a teacher. And thank God I'm married to a teacher too. 
until I'm able to read that portion he wants me to read, he will not give up. He has never yelled at me. Unfortunately for me, when they, when they came to Canada, uh, when they came to USA, I was crying. I said, ah, auntie, you and daddy, you are leaving, right? Who is going to be in my wedding? I said, at that time, I, I, I was not yet married. I was crying. He opened his mouth and said, comfort you. Angels, we attend your wedding. I said, okay, sir. I wiped my face. I kept quiet. To call the long story short, he and his children, to start up, all the children, especially I say, from the first one to the last one, I was there. My auntie, she was giving birth, she would go to school. I would stay in school. She, as, as young as two weeks old, these babies, I'll be in school with her then. But God so kind and so faithful. They came to America, left us in Nigeria. Before you know it, my husband came from uh, uh, Canada and I told her she, she said okay 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 after everything I came they were the only one present in my wedding he was the, only, the, the father that gave me out so that word that he spoke over me that angel will attend my wedding came to pass so there's a lot to be said of this this my daddy and mommy. I tell them, when the children are doing, I say, I'm the firstborn of this family. I'm the first. <laughs> I still even said it last night. I said, I am the firstborn of this family. So daddy, words are not enough for really. And mommy, at times when you are doing that uh, youthful exhibitor, and uh, he spoke, it, when he's, it, once he opens his mouth and speaks, the words that will come out from him, words of wisdom that will come out from him, even in my marriage, just like my husband has said, he heard us this far. At times we will have issue. Once we call, he's the last point. Even if I call my mom at home, my mom will say, did you call daddy in Chicago? I will say, yes. Did you call mommy in Chicago? I will say, yes. What did they say? That's it. So I thank God, daddy. I thank God, mommy. God has really used you in the lives of many. Your crown in heaven is much. The seed you have sown, the seed of love. If I have three daughters, one of them is not here. Once they are, they are misbehaving, and I say, Grandpa in Chicago, they will stand still. No matter, that's how far you have touched my life. I cannot say it enough, Daddy. I can, I'm just sitting there looking, and looking back from where I started, how I played. Even at that, he didn't treat me as if, ah, this is my wife's sister. I was a child. I was one of... Like when I say I'm the first, I am. So nobody will take that place. So your love. There was one day when, we in Can when, when I came to visit, and he ro raised his voice, and he was talking to Kenneth. And I went to Kenneth, and I said, Kenneth, Daddy raised his voice at you. I said, you better go and kneel down. Ah! I said, what you did? I said, oh my years. I have never, never, my auntie can yell at me, or not daddy, never, no matter, he would just look at me like this, and I will arrange myself. Only his look will just tell you what he is communicating. He has never, I'm sorry daddy, I'm keeping you standing. I can't just end it like that. I, I thank God for your life, sir. Please, we're going to stand up. And shout seven hallelujah for the life of my father and my mother. This union that God has brought together, 
a lot is to be said. We're going to shout hallelujah. They will not spell the name of Jesus. We are not spelling the name of Jesus to call the cake. But we are spelling the name of Jesus to make this name revealed to the world and to glorify his name. Please, you're going to join me to shout seven hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 So we're going to call the name of Jesus. The name that is highly exalted. The name that is higher than any other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. So you're going to join me to say, J. E, e S, S U, U N S Praise the Lord Thank you very much Round of applause for Mrs. Inogero Round of applause for her we're going to take some, just a few pictures, just a few pictures. You know, before this event, this is the first time I ever experienced it. Daddy called me, he held my hand to pray for this event. I've never experienced it as an MC before. He wanted you to be saved, healed, delivered, and your marriage is to be restored to the glory of God. And I know those things have happened. But me being me, you know. I can't just keep it all spiritual. I have to do something else, right? So I'm going to invite to join me up here. The biological, real biological children. A lot of, lot of honorary biological. The bi real biological children of the couple. Please join me up here. Please, come. Come, 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 come. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, you can just step up here. Come, come, come. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we are number three to one. Three to one. So I'm going to call some honorary children to come, right? Omar, join us up here. Join us up here. Round of applause for Omar, son-in-law. And Timothy, please also join us up here. So we have three, three. Three, three. Okay. Round of applause for Timothy as well. Pastor. Pastor, I saw you struggling for firstborn. So that struggle, we want to see it. Come, join us. Join us up here. Join up up here. And then the other struggle, struggle, the other firstborn who was taught ABC in English at the age of nine, mm. who passed or Sonny has never raised his voice at. Let me ask Gloria, Rhoda, Joy, is that true? <laughs> Mrs. Inaugural, please join us up here. Please join us. Join us, join us, join us. Okay. Pastor Sunday just stepped out, but he's going to be joining us back. Can we do, can you do me a favor and move this back a little bit? So I want you guys to stand in a straight line. Stand in a straight line. Just, no, not that line, this line. Yeah. Straight line. Just in any arrangement that you want. Okay. Good, good, good. Pastor Sunday, where are you? We need you in this game. Hmm. But the show must go on. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you guys a series of questions that if you are truly biological children, like if you are really biological children, you can't get wrong. And then we'll ask them, and then we'll ask them to confirm the answer. 
Okay. So, this test me, I believe, is better than DNA. That's what, that's what it has shown me in my life. Are you guys ready? So, if the answer is Pastor Sunday, you move to your right. And if the answer is Pastor Rosalind, your mom, you move to your left. Okay? Are you ready? Let's go. I'll start with easy ones first. I don't, you know, me, I don't want anybody to, to fail. Between Pastor Sunday and Pastor Rosalind, who said? Ah, okay, before. Sir, come back. We have been waiting for you. Please. We are trying to test which one of these is your children. Which one of these is your children? We are just testing. We are testing. Okay. So, you know the rules. So, between Pastor Sunday and Pastor Rosalind, who said, I love you first? Who said, I love you first? Choose the answer. No. I said, which one of them said, I love you first? Look, when I call, when I call the question, you choose quickly. Don't watch Gloria. I, <laughs> honorary first bones, please don't watch them. Just choose quiz quickly. So, so it seems like everybody chose Pastor Sunday. Do you guys agree that he said, I love you first? Mommy and Daddy, can you confirm the answer? Who said, I love you first? Between you and your wife, to each other. Oh, okay, Pastor Sunday confirms that. Okay, okay. Good. That was easy. So please choose your answers quickly. Come back to the middle. Thank you. Who is better at arguing? Quick. <laughs> I don't like the way. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Which kind of answers are these? Eh? Pastor, did you copy in school? The way you are. Are you one of those? <laughs> eh? by the spirit <laughs> who is better at arguing okay okay we have our answer our next question is who never forgets your birthday <laughs> who never forgets your birthday okay there's no, all of you answer the same way you're all children no everybody's passing okay Who's funnier? <laughs> you know what? The two of you come to the front. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Who is funnier? Who is funnier? Who is funnier? Mm. Who is funnier? Kenneth is thinking. 50-50. So Kenneth is in the middle. But everybody else moved to mommy's side. Okay? Okay. Now let me ask all of you. Who do you think is funnier? You all know them. Who's funnier? Huh? Mommy? Who's funnier? Okay, let me ask Pastor Sunday since nobody's picking you. <laughs> he points to Pastor Rosalind as the funnier one. Okay. We'll choose that one. The next one. Who's the better driver? Ah, so quick. <laughs> Who knows more scripture? Ah, 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 ah. If you need a prayer warrior, who will you choose? Ah, ah, mommy. Ah. <laughs> Before they go out of the room, let me choose another question. Come. Come. Okay. Now, who's better? Now, you guys, you know, you're close to your parents. You talk to them about different things. When you want to get married, who you love, when you're about to get a kid. So, who is better at keeping secrets? Secrets. Secrets. Who's, 
None of them. <laughs> Pastor will use it to preach. <laughs> None of them are better at keeping secrets. Ah, okay. <laughs> mm. Who's more romantic? Who's more romantic? Mm -hmm. This line is coving. <laughs> who is more romantic? This is the middle of the line. So who is more romantic? So I see four real children. <laughs> the real children I've chosen. <laughs> okay. 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 I like that. Mm. So, this next question, I think it's pretty easy. Who is a better singer when they are lifting up worship songs in the house whose voice do you want to hear who you want whose voice whose voice whose voice uh, uh, whose voice when we give you all the which one both of them grandpa okay you people want to choose grandpa go there go I don't understand these answers. Let me go to the real children. <laughs> okay. 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 We'll take that answer. Mm. Now, this next one might be easy for some people, might be hard for others, but I don't know, and I'm not trying to cause no fights. Okay. Who's the better cook? Yeah, I don't. Most of our answers have been mixed. This one. <laughs> yes. The Ogbono soup. Yeah, so. Can't find that Ogbono anywhere. Okay. Share all of you heads. We are going to their house when? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm. Who is the biggest geek in both of them? Geek. <laughs> These honorary children, I don't, I, don't, I don't, they have not gotten anyone right. They just look at Kenneth's head, his filler, and they go, <laughs> they just go where they go. Okay. Mm. Okay. This is, this one is just final question. Just to find out. Because I think I know the answer. But I'm not sure. Bring it on. Okay, all of you, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Who's the best? Mm. Close your eyes, everybody. Who is the better dancer? Close your eyes. Who is the better dancer? All these technical answers. Who is the better dancer? Mm. <laughs> Daddy, they said they haven't seen you dance in 40 years. They haven't seen you dance in 40. DJ, rhyme star, are you ready? They haven't seen you dance in 40 years. Daddy and mommy, please join us up here. Join us up here. And your children are going to judge for us. Who the better dancer is? Come on, DJ, let's go.
I think it's a draw, it's a tie now. It's a tie. Uh huh. I would like to invite friends and family to join them on the dance floor. And if you have any monetary gift, please put it in the envelopes on your table and join them on the dance floor. Any monetary gifts, please no spray, but you can put it in the envelopes on your table and hand it to them. No spray. The envelopes on your table that you can put gifts in.
Gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want to, on behalf of my family, thank every one of you that has made this occasion what it has turned out to be tonight. My prayer is that the Lord will so bless each of you everyone that has made a sacrifice towards this program. Some who, I know one of my mothers who made ready, she had a dress she was going to wear on this occasion, but she couldn't make it tonight. But I want to say the God that has invited all of us into fellowship with him, that fellowship I embraced 48 years ago, and that God whose grace we celebrate today, may that, may that God grant you the same grace. May every one of you that has been a part of this ceremony, may your marriages last more than ours has been. May your children rise up to be greater than you materially and spiritually. May God embarrass you with blessings. Amen. May God show himself to you such that you will, you will be able to, to declare without a doubt that you have seen the invisible God. May your children and your children's children be evidences in this land and in their generation that you were a witness of this occasion. May they rise up to become pillars in their generation. May their marriages not be counted among the statistics of these failed marriages in this land. But rather theirs will be pillars that marriages that are struggling we lean upon and find strength. Father, thank you. 
to you be the glory. You are the God who cannot be advised on what to do. You are the God who knows even for somebody who does not have the physical means to express appreciation, the well wish alone, you reward it. Reward everyone who has made a sacrifice towards this ceremony. And Father, cause them to know that it is because they have been a blessing to us, you choose to bless them back. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I can't thank all of you sufficiently, but the Lord will reward you. Amen. Amen.